Hey Piggy, so are you someone that wants to lose excess body fat as rapidly as possible? Because as we know, so many people want to lose weight as rapidly as possible because why would you not? But as we know, there is so many people out there time and time again that are selling weight loss programs and supplements and other various things just to make a quick buck from you that is not very effective. And these people are not normally transparent and they're lying. And a lot of time they're putting photos up of people that have lost weight, that have been photoshopped and other various things that are dishonest where they're promoting something that will not actually get those results and they're getting you to believe that they will just so they can make as much money from you as quickly as possible. But if you're someone that wants to learn something that's actually effective, that is going to cost you no money and actually save you money and make you lose weight as rapidly as possible, make sure that you just get your unfocused monkey mind that just wants to switch from this thing and this thing and this thing to actually watch this video from start to finish. Because I know many people that watch many videos, they have such a short attention span. But if you're someone that wants to get real, real results with something that's effective for losing weight very rapidly, then do not click off this video whatsoever. So first off, I want to say you need to be able to have a lot of self-discipline and control. It's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but the easiest things are not always going to give you the best results possible. So what I have seen people get results from time and time again, and I've promoted it on this channel so many times, is for weight loss to be as rapid as possible, intermittent fasting, or even more so, extended fasting known as prolonged fasting where you fast for multiple days in a row is by far the quickest way that you can lose weight. So first off, going to talk about the multiple day fasting. I interviewed someone recently that lost around 225 pounds of weight by water fasting for 150 days. Yes, you heard me right, 150 days. And he had pretty much no prior experience with water fasting whatsoever, but he found a big enough reason as to why to go on this fast. He made it happen, and he talked about it in an interview that I made with him recently. I put a link for it up above. I'd recommend that you go and check that out to get some inspiration and motivation from someone that was morbidly obese and really went in the direction to do some massive changes such as doing a 150 day water fast to lose 225 pounds of weight. And what I wanna say is you don't necessarily need to fast that long. That is a very long period of time to fast, especially if you're someone that's quite new to fasting or if you're someone that doesn't have much knowledge around this. So what I would say is learn as much information as you can from experts out there. And you can learn a lot on this YouTube channel about extended water fasting and just make sure that you gain as much knowledge as you possibly can and make sure when you do water fasting that you just stay as safe as you possibly can. So what you could do is start off with some shorter fast and get your body just used to abstaining from food for a long period of time because there's so many people that are just fat fucking pigs that are just used to eating here and there and everywhere and they have no control over their food and they have unhealthy relationships with food and that's why they've ended morbidly obese in the first place. So it could be good to experiment with some shorter fast. You could do like a 24 hour fast, two, three, four, five day fast. And then once your body becomes more used to fasting and you just gain more experience with it, you could feel a lot more comfortable to go into a longer fast, which you could then go and do a 20, 30, 40 day water fast. And what you need to take into consideration is the fatter that you are, the longer you can fast for because literally you have a stored energy source on your body, which is that excess fat. So by not being a fat fucking pig and actually abstaining from food for a long period of time, it's gonna start to burn up that energy source. It's really that easy. Just stop fucking eating. Like, it's that simple. Like I said, it doesn't cost you anything whatsoever and it's gonna save you money because you're not consuming food whatsoever. And we know so many people in today's world don't have a lot of money. So this is definitely one of the best ways that we could actually solve the epidemic or with obesity that is just shortening so many people's lifespan, causing so many different health issues and just having a whole negative experience on their whole human experience. And a word of caution, I do not recommend just drinking plain water whatsoever. You wanna drink snake juice. If you don't know what this is, it's just water with a potassium source, a magnesium source, and a sodium source. You can research up on YouTube for the recipe for that. I'm gonna have a video on that coming soon because if 
you're not doing that with the snake juice and you're doing water fasting, you're gonna end up with some electrolyte imbalances. It's gonna make you feel absolutely awful and it could be quite dangerous. So that is something to be very aware of. And yes, it does require quite a bit of discipline, but what I found in so many people with water fasting, the first few days are normally the hardest, but then hunger just seems to be completely eliminated where you just get to a state with it, like the man called Fasting Fat Man that did 150 days, where he pretty much felt no hunger throughout the whole 150 days, even when he went back to eating one meal a day, which he'd done after his refeeding phase after doing the full length of this extended water fast. So yeah, due to not getting hungry through long fast, it makes it way, way, way easier to stay than most people would realize over a long period of time. And yes, there is some people that mess up with this, but if you're someone that finds a big enough reason as to why you want to lose the weight, then it's going to help you keep on track when you want to quit. And yes, it is so important because so many people do this with yo-yo diets. They go on extreme calorie restriction diets, then they end up getting off of the wagon and then they go on an absolute binge and they normally gain more weight back than they had before they did this restrictive diet. So make sure when you go back to eating that you have an eating plan after a long fast that you can sustain over a period of time that is going to help you keep that weight off that you've lost. And if you have further weight to lose after your long water fast, it's going to help you lose more additional weight as rapidly as possible. And the best intermittent fasting diet out there is either eating once every 24 hours, or if you're someone that's really hardcore, you could go once every 48 hours hours. And if you're someone that wants to learn as much information on this subject as possible, I have so many videos on this channel. I actually eat one meal a day. It just makes me feel absolutely amazing. It helps me stay lean and shredded all year round. And the reason why this works for weight loss is most hours within the day, you're not eating at all. And it's about doing consistent steps over a long period of time because you didn't gain the weight overnight. So you're not going to lose it overnight. It's really as simple as that. And like, as we know, there's so many people saying like, in seven days, you can lose 20 pounds of weight if you buy this thing and this thing. And it's just like, man, they are lying to your fucking face. You just don't want to trust those people whatsoever. You want to actually trust people that are transparent and that don't necessarily seem like they're a salesman that's just trying to make a quick buck off of you. So yeah, it's really simple. The longer that you fast, the more weight you're going to lose. So obviously, if you eat once every 48 hours rather than once every 24 hours, you're going to get more rapid weight loss benefits. And people that are not used to fasting, after about a two week period of messing around with intermittent fasting or extended fasting, your body becomes very fat adapted, which means it becomes very efficient at burning your own body fat as fuel. And that's when you're gonna feel the best from it. And I actually have a video talking about in more detail how to eat one meal a day, which will go into way more detail than I've explained in this video. So if that interests you, I'll put a link for up above and you can check that out now. And one last thing I mentioned, because I know some people are gonna ask, what diet should you be eating with one meal a day? You can eat whatever diet you want, carnivore, keto, low carb, vegan, raw vegan, whatever you wanna do, because I have seen people time and time again get amazing weight loss results when doing one meal every 24 or 48 hours, and they could absolutely eat junk food if they wanted to, like Blake Horton, that lost around 60 pounds of weight, eating around 4,500 calories of junk food, and if, you want to check out him and see the foods that he eats, I put a link for a video up above where I show you so many photos and videos of what he looked like before, what he eats, and what type of results he got from eating this amount of food once every day. But yes, what I will say is, with one meal a day, you can eat whatever foods you want, but from what I am aware of, a ketogenic or carnivore diet could actually help you get way, way quicker, rapid weight loss benefits because those diets keep insulin low, which is a fat storage hormone, even when you're eating. But if you're eating quite a lot of carbs within your eating window, it will spike your insulin up for a short period of time. So it's not going to make you gain loads of weight at all. It will keep your body fat percentage low and you won't gain weight whatsoever because you are doing fasting for a long period of time. But if you want to optimize the weight loss benefits, yes, a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet would be the best. And something that I'm gonna mention briefly is yes, with water fasting, you will consume 
water and you could consume things such as a snake juice which I said had those three different electrolytes in. But there is also something that would give you way more rapid weight loss benefits than water fasting and that is dry fasting but I'm not going to talk about it in this video in depth whatsoever. I need to make a whole dedicated video for this but it's been shown to burn fat three times as fast as water fasting, but this is really, really hardcore. So for most people, it's not a good idea to start with this when you're new to fasting. It's something you can experiment over a long period of time once you get used to fasting more, and it's something that you need to be way more cautious with when doing. I do this every single day with intermittent dry fasting and one meal a day combined, and it makes it feel absolutely amazing. But yeah, all I will mention on dry fasting is you abstain from all liquids and food completely. Yes, you heard me right, all liquids and food completely, which from my own experience, it definitely gets me into a fasting state way, way quicker than water fasting. And I can definitely say from my own experience, it definitely works three times faster than water fasting. So this is why I do it on a regular basis. But yes, yeah, stay tuned for that video where I'm going to talk about that in full depth. So that's it for this video. Any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.